Shankar, our CEO oh, and co-founder, when he started to develop the product, in their garage they had that typical 2001 Space Odyssey poster. And uh, as, as they developed the product, they thought, you know, we'd really like to have a company name that had something to do with audio, but also at the same time represent a journey. They thought, Odyssey. Like for you know, Space Odyssey or Homer's Iliad in the Odyssey. So as a trip through audio, that's how the name came about. But we're here at the Source AV today to talk about the launch of our new in ears. This is the iSign 10. It's the world's first planar magnetic in ear, and the iSign 20. It's bigger brother. This will be 3.99 retail and the iSign 20 will be 599 retail and they include both our lightning cable and the standard audio cable. The lightning cable of course is for all the Apple devices. The standard audio cable has a regular 3.5 millimeter foam plug like this. So it can be used with Android, any digital audio player, or anything that has a standard 3.5 millimeter stereo jack. So these being the world's first planar magnetic headphones, you see they're relatively large. For example, <laughs> let me put this up to my ear so you get an idea of the scale of the headphone. So this is a 30 millimeter driver. This means we get a lot more bass response and flatter, deeper bass response than other in-ear products, especially the balanced armature drivers that most people use. So our bass response on these products is flat from 900 hertz down to 10 hertz. The other advantages we have is because it uses our planar magnetic technology, it has great transient response. So items like uh, snare drum, uh, the kick drum, popping strings on the bass, strumming acoustic guitar, that dynamic initial response comes across so well on our in-ear planar magnetic headphones that it sounds so much more real than a conventional product. Now our planar magnetic technology consists of well, that's a bad one. So these are some defective diaphragms. <laughs> they sh they're not supposed to have any wrinkles in them like you see here uh, in production, but this is just a sample to show you. This is a very, very thin piece of uh, specialized uh, polymer. And if you can see these lines, I'll t sort of twist this a little bit so the light catches it right. That's actually the voice coil. Now, this is very, very thin because of the low mass, it means it has great transient response. So it tracks dynamic changes in music very effectively. In the center, it actually looks like this. And we have magnets on either side and then waveguides. So these sort of triangular ridges those are waveguides and that helps smooth out the mid-range sound. We have a special magnetic technology that we use. These are two magnets from our EL8. All magnets have a north pole and a south pole. We found a way to take one pole and literally bend it over so it's adjacent to the other pole. That way you get almost all the magnetic energy you have focused on one side. So it's much more efficient, it's twice as efficient as conventional magnet construction. And this is a demo. So for example, on one side, this is a standard steel. There's some typical magnetic attraction. Put it to the focused side, and you can just hear by the sound how much stronger this is. So this one, this one. So you actually have to feel it physically. No one else does this. This is a patent we have. So Odyssey is unusual for most other headphone companies that we have a lot of patents concerning our technology. So that's our planar magnetic technology and our new in-ear, I signed 10 and 20, which will be shipping in mid-November. Mid We're taking pre-orders now. And if you have any questions, feel free to write or call us. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much.